to start my the book that I'm more nervous for than anything I've ever picked up in my life. Meet me at the lake. I adore Carly Fortune. I love her with my whole heart and soul. I adored every summer after. But this book has had some really negative reviews. So I'm going to start now. I'm waiting for some of my clothes to dry so I can iron it all. So I'm going to read for however long I can before I need to get up and do some jobs. But it's like mm, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe I'll read for like an hour or so. Because um, I have like probably like an hour. I've got a good chunk of ironing to do. But we'll see how we go. I, I'm nervous. All I know is that like people like said it was too insta lovey and I hate the insta love trope. This may end in a DNF. Who the fuck knows? It's been a while since I've seen a good review on this, so I'm hoping that like I'll, maybe I'll actually will enjoy it. These two people like have a one night together, never see each other again, and then they reunited like nine years later. But like I don't understand why everyone's like it's insta lovey and it's weird. So we're gonna find out. Let's see how we go. It is not a long book, so I probably won't feel the need to DNF. It's only like just over 300 pages, but I'm nervous. Let's see how we go. Okay, so I am just over halfway through this book and I have no complaints. This is really good. There is something so super authentic about the way Carly Fortune writes. And I really shouldn't have had any doubt when this came out because while she does touch on like some sort of like topics that don't always gel with people, this is still a really well written book. And I understand why people think like, oh, it's very insta-lusty, like she's like held on to him for so long. But for me, it's kind of like she's tried life and like he's always in the back of her mind always wondering what could have been which is like normal sometimes like there's always like people think about like the one that got away like what if they were my person like the one that got away I really there is a reason why like that's a common trope in like books and music and movies and tv shows I just think it's I just think it's that and I really enjoy it I love we've just gotten the reason as to why he didn't return that year after they met to their like their organized meetup and i'm like oh my god this is so wholesome and sweet but she's also like got a lot of baggage like fern has a lot of baggage that she deals with from her mother her upbringing which make it really hard for her to connect and make her like a really quite whiny i guess whiny character but she's just got a lot of heavy stuff going on in her life so does Will, but there is such a good cast of like side characters involved. I love the setting. I love the concept. I love that he challenges her. I love that she challenges him. We've had a spicy scene. I don't know. I'm into it. Do I love it as much as I love every summer after? Absolutely not. This doesn't have as much of an emotional pull on me as every summer after does, but I still really like this. I have no, I have, I honestly have no major critiques other than like, it's not a five star because it just lacks a lot of depth, a bit of depth for me. But yeah, at 50, it's like, you know, halfway through. I'm loving it. I'm here for a good time. And I think it's a well-written book. I think it's a book that people should give a chance if they are into sort of that sort of the one that got away trope. Back in the same spot, it is the next morning, but I love this spot because I get good lighting. There's no backlighting. It's great. So I'm up to chapter 26. So not a lot left. I literally have a, not much left. The third act breakup has just happened and it was kind of like annoying and silly. I felt like it was a little bit unnecessary sort of the lack of communication, which is like fine. But I think that's just a signature of Carly Fortune's books. Like a lot of the time they don't know how to communicate, but um, Fern, communicate like has a like a really good conversation with like basically like her step-in dad and it was really really sweet i really enjoying I'm, I'm honestly really enjoying it i have no no major critiques so yeah i'm happy i'm happy it's like it's i'm making this video and i don't know why because i don't really have a lot to report because nothing is really annoying me but i'm really loving like her growth and development as a character and i think that's what carly fortune does so well is that there is so much growth and depth to these characters. They are really focused on like growing and changing, obviously, um, but they just feel so authentic and real to like what someone would go through in their life and the challenges. And not everybody is like the cookie cutter perfect person like how it is in a small town romance. These are really, they really encapsulate the complexities of humans and the selfishness and the, yeah, like the, 
the parts of being human that are just annoying it, these books really capture in the best way that i've probably ever read but is this my favorite no i think it's gonna it's gonna get a four star but I'm not mad about it. I'm really, really not mad. I was so worried I was gonna hate it. I don't find that it's like insta lovey like how a lot of people say, but maybe that's just me. I finished and I loved it. I gave it a four stars. There is a bit of a miscommunication at the end, but this book is good. I enjoyed it. I think if you don't mind miscommunication and you don't mind like cheating, um, this is a great book that just, it covers a lot of like really good topics. Um, when you get to the author's note, you really understand like the concept of the book. Um, yeah, they're very cute. Is it a book that's gonna sit with me forever? Probably not, but am I going to recommend it to a lot of people? Probably yes. Cause I just think it's like, give it a chance, but it only like go in like with an open mind and optimistic because it's, yeah, it's not for everyone. You know, if you don't like cheating, don't like miscommunication. I don't think it's insta lovey. I think it more harps on the fact that the, on the fact that it's like the thought of like the one that got away. That's, that's how I feel about this book is like, it's the story of thinking about the person that got away, like the one that got away and a lot of like mental health struggles and difficult ch like childhood upbringings. I think that's what this book is about. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog. I just wanted to sort of document my thoughts and feelings as I read this book because I'm really not going to have a lot of vlogging time over the next month because we have a lot of things on, but it is fine. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment below what is a book that you guys have been putting off for the last like year or so. Um, maybe I can encourage you guys to pick it up. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.